Alright, now that we've basically finished our house model, we need to convert it into a prefab. So, a prefab is basically a ready-made object or game object in Unity 3D. And it's pretty simple to make. So, before we begin, let's go ahead and create a new folder for prefabs. Alright, now that we got that done, we should actually, let's see, we already got everything here. So first things first, let's go ahead and parent the house to the foundation. You can do that just by selecting all of these. Oh, hold on, before I forget, let's rename this found extra foundation to roof so we don't get confused. All right, and then let's go ahead and parent this all together. Now, you can parent it to a, an existing object, or you can create an empty game object, name it house, and then select all the, uh, all the game objects that you've just created, then drag it and put it on top of the house empty game object. Alright, there we go. Now if you select house, you'll select the entire um, game object that's under it. So this is considered a parent object and everything below it or everything under it is now a child game object. Now we can create this into a prefab now to do that is pretty easy. All you gotta do is to drag and drop house into the prefabs folder in the projects folder or the projects tab and boom. So this icon sa states that it's actually a prefab now and if you click the arrow you can see the parent uh, objects under the prefab. Now prefabs are pretty uh, symbol to use and they're very very convenient especially if you plan to add several objects or the same objects many times inside a scene such as trees or generic houses etc now let's say we want to update the prefab inside the project folder so that's actually pretty simple so let's say we want to move the house into a different position Alright, let's go with this. You want to move it to a position such as over here. Alright, so in the scene, our house inside the scene has been moved to a corner. However, if we import house again, we see that it's still in the center. That means that the prefab hasn't been updated inside the project folder yet. So what we could do is, let's click the house that we've edited. And then next to prefab, let's select apply. Alright, and now you can see that the other prefab that we've dragged in, or the other house, has been updated. This means that the original prefab inside the project folder has already been updated as well. Just a reminder, a prefab doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be created in just Unity 3D. You can actually create a prefab from a third-party software such as Visual Studio or Autodesk Maya or even Blender. It also doesn't have to necessarily be a 3D model. As long as it's a game object, it's qualified to become a prefab. Alright, so that's it for the basics of Unity 2018 series. The next series that we'll be publishing soon will be for the basics of C Sharp for Unity 3D.